this is this video about prom. Before I tell you guys how I got asked to prom, because it's so amazing that I literally went the next day to get a custom made dress because I was like, this boy did the most amazing thing ever. There's no way that like I can not give him the best. So. Oh God, it's so pretty. <laughs> I think it's time to tell you guys the story on how I was asked to prom. Going to the airport right now because we're going to Louisiana. We have some cats with us and I'll explain more later. I'm super excited. I haven't really been to Louisiana and like actually looked at everything, so I love traveling. Let's see how it is. We made it to the airport in the nick of time. We almost actually missed our flight and Monkey did have an accident which was kind of scary. Just like kind of a pot cake situation, but we're on the plane. We're about to be on the plane. Thank God. I hate the airport. I'm literally overseeing it. It's like so busy. They gave me a warning that there was going to be turbulence, so yay. I'm so excited. I love turbulence. I confirm, I love turbulence. It's my favorite thing. I love turbulence. I don't actually like turbulence, but we had a layover, and this layover was, you know, who likes a layover? But this layover was also stinky, poopy, and throw up y because. Done with our first flight, time for the second one. Monkey peed and pooped and threw up and pooped and threw up so many times. Wow. Flight number two. After that moment, We made it to the place that we're staying at for a few days and really, really cool and ironic. We always thought, like stumble upon these cool things. So my home in Georgia, this is actually, actually the address number. So like that's so random and like really cool. I really like it, but it's so cute and I'm really excited. And the weather is too good to be true, but I'm looking to eat some food because I'm starving. I slept like a baby. And if you guys want to see the room tour, stay tuned. We are staying in a bed and breakfast, and we had our bed. Now it's time for breakfast and starving. Hello. Good morning, how are you? Good, how are you? How are you? Good. Breakfast was bees to the knees. So actually the owner Owner. The owner of the bed and breakfast was also the chef for the bed and breakfast. And what I thought was so amazing and so like humans doing human things was we were all sitting at the same dining room table to eat breakfast with random strangers. I sat sat by people from Texas, from Oklahoma, from England. Breakfast was absolutely amazing, but now it's time to go to the vet for the cats that we actually brought here to make sure that they're doing okay. Let's go. My ride's here. Raja how handsome he was. I was actually kind of convinced that the vet was in love with Raja, but besides the point, they're all healthy and they're good. I'm gonna miss them. It's not gonna be the same. Oh, <laughs> Monkey. Monkey, don't give daddy a hard time. Don't give daddy a hard time. And if you guys wanna know more about it, I'm gonna talk more about the whole situation, but I'm honestly so happy to see how happy the cat's dad is. He's been waiting for this for so long. He says that his family is finally back together. So unfortunately, it's very sad for me, but you, ha you have to put your feelings aside when it comes to a family. I'm gonna give you guys a little room tour because I think that that's like the best part of this whole entire place. My mom and I decided that we wanted to stay at a bed and breakfast and we kind of already knew this because we like love bed and breakfast because if you guys know, I just feel like it's a lot more like family oriented and you're helping on a small business. Nothing too exciting over here. It's just a desk if I ever needed to do any important businessman stuff. We also have a nice TV, which I watched an amazing movie on last night. And look at how cute this thing is. It's like a cute little like, you know, place to keep everything. How cute! I love it. It looks super like old, but honestly, it looks like something like you want, you might like hide a body in if you like kiss someone. And then we have the bed. Woo! So love the color of the walls. And they have these cute, adorable cups. You can just go and they have like coffee and tea all day. 
that you can just like refill. It's a never ending tea bar for real. And then the bathroom, there's a bathtub and there's like jets and the jets actually make bubbles, like huge bubbles. And then our lovely bathroom. I try to keep it as clean as possible. My mom and I are very clean people, but like, you know, sometimes it just gets messy and there's nothing you can do about it. But this stuff right here for bath time, it's amazing. And that's kind of it. There's also a cat that lives here. Her name is Twi Twizzy, Twiggy, Twiggy, something like that. Here she is, she's so cute. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, sweetheart. The reason why her nose looks like that is because she's actually allergic to mosquitoes, which is really unfortunate because, like, you know, she lives outside. But I actually had a cat who was allergic to mosquitoes, and that's how I know this. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys this story why we had to fly all the way to New Orleans. So, this guy adopted some cats from us, and a few months into that, he kind of went through like a little bit of a hard time and he didn't know what he was gonna do. He had a lot of things that he was thinking about and he just loves his cats so much and he just wanted to make sure they were safe. He didn't really have anyone helping him, like his family, his friends, or anything like that. So we opened our home, opened our hearts. We were like, we will watch them for you. So we watched Monkey and Raja, those are the two cats of his, uh, for like a whole year and we got really attached to them. And you know, of course I don't wanna see them go, but thank God, you know, he, really pulled himself together. He moved to Louisiana, New Orleans, and he just kind of got back on his feet and it's amazing to see it, him do this. I walked into his house and he has like two pictures of his cats that he hasn't had for like a year on his refrigerator and he's just is so happy and he says that his family's back and I think that's just so sweet. Of course I'm gonna miss Monkey and Raja in the house because I've been taking care of them for so long. I think it's just a nice thing to do that we took care of them for so long and you know, I feel like we don't really deserve animals because they're so sweet and so nice to us and they just like have been hurt by so many people and they don't know who to trust like who would you trust if you were an animal there's so many mean people in this world like if you have the opportunity to rescue or help a friend or do anything that you can do to help definitely think you should you guys know i love bed and breakfast i'm actually just going to give you a tour of like the other part besides our bed i want to give you a place where we eat breakfast in the big table i was talking about and i want to show you Everything is super cute and like kind of like, you know, old and like a lot of history. I love stuff that has history, so I actually haven't been in this room. It's really cute. It's like a little bag. Yeah, there's like decorated shoes in there. Look, this is what maybe what you can do with your shoes. Alright, here's the dining table where we had breakfast this morning. It was really, really fun. We fly here and it's like fun and it's not like a hotel. <laughs> something that like doesn't you don't even feel like you're anywhere because you're just in a hotel that looks exactly the same everywhere let's go see the city and maybe get some beignets just then but look at these cool things what are those look at this one they don't usually look like that wow look at them all over here this is so cool oh, aw, i wonder what they're, they're probably something like weird i wonder if they turn into butterflies they're beautiful. This is why I suggest if you're in a safe area and you have someone safe to go with you, I suggest you walk because you will see so much more stuff than you would anywhere else. I'm telling you, if I didn't walk that one day in the Bahamas, I never would have gotten pot cake. I saw this place on TikTok. I'm being a true tourist right now, but it's supposed to have the best beignets. And I'm telling you, I don't waste like, I'm not gonna eat something that's nasty. So we're gonna wait in this line and we're gonna see if the beignets are good. I actually had a friend that was obsessed with beignets all the time, but I just was in love with them, but maybe I'll like them. I'm pretty sure we're about to be in a rainstorm because it's feeling like it, you know, when you're about to grow up and you have that feeling in the back of your throat, that's what the light, that's what the world's doing. It's like, Plus there's raindrops on us and we're not very close to our hotel. No, we're not close at all. We're probably like an hour and a half away from our hotel. At a cute restaurant, it's called Lola's and they have Brussels sprouts and they have my favorite fish, so I'm really excited for that. I had dinner, now it's time for dessert because you know, if you have a good dinner, I have a dessert. So this is, what is this called? Flan. Flan. It's different. It's like pudding. Pudding. Yeah. Because we're in like a haunted city, it's time to go on a haunted tour. And I love American Horror Stories and literally a whole entire season was low-key kind of based on this tour that we're going on. So I was ecstatic. Those are 
after the ghost tour, I'm not gonna lie. There was a lot of history and a lot about like, you know, what happened here and why they call it like the freaking dead town or whatever. We're literally, she said, like stepping two feet, you're stepping on a freaking ancestors. And we're walking home now because we don't have a car or anything like that. And also, I want to get to like 10 miles today. How many miles do you think we walked today? I think it's up to 12 now. Damn, well, I am. We're walking a lot. So we're walking back to the hotel, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of there was also this like whole story about these like girls, like young girls, that everyone thought was like vampires because they were like under a ship for months and they had like blood coming out of their eyes, their mouth, their nose, and their toes or something like that. It was a lot to take in, but really, really scary. But I honestly love history. I kind of always have. Now I get to walk home and be totally spooked out. Enough with the spooky stuff. Now let's go on a swamp tour. But I'm super excited. I haven't really been to Louisiana and like actually looked at everything. So now I love it here. Like I honestly think I could live here. I love the walking distance to everything, but that's besides the point. We have a bunch of fun stuff to do today. Right now we're walking to a cemetery because we're doing a cemetery tour. And you might be like, why are you doing a cemetery tour? There's cemeteries everywhere. But it's different in New Orleans. They don't bury them in the ground. They are buried like above the ground. And not only that, they actually like, if you have like a lot of family, you actually get put in the same coffin. I have family that I do not want to be buried with, and if I was buried with it, I would come out of my freaking coffin and go somewhere else, anywhere else. We're also going to get our tarot cards read. I've done that once before, but like I feel like this is very authentic, it's what they do here, and I'm really excited. So hopefully it's going to be fun, and I learned a little bit more about myself. New Orleans was so much fun. I had so much fun. I am so much fun. I am so much fun. It was so much fun. How many times can you say so much fun? What if I'm one time it was just like it was awful. It was awful. I had no fun at all. I would switch it up. But isn't this video about prom? Because I'm looking at the freaking title and I'm like, are we ever gonna talk about prom? So let's talk about prom. Before I tell you guys how I got asked to prom, because it's so amazing that I literally went the next day to get a custom-made dress because I was like this. Boy did the most amazing thing ever. There's no way that like I can not give him the best. So look at the dress that I had custom made for this prom. I just had to pee really, really bad. Oh, oh God, it's so pretty. So <laughs> it's so pretty. Yeah, we can see it on you. Okay, I'm gonna have to pee first though. You look so much shorter with it on, I don't know why. She looks so tiny. It's really cute. I need to take off my gross socks. I love the back of it. What are your dance moves? Um, you're gonna do like, like you gotta do the traditional. Like you gotta do like the shopping cart and lawnmower. Like, there you go, the sprinkler. Yeah. I feel like a princess, a sparkly princess. Yeah, you can do the, the fairy factory. <laughs> and it's like, comfortable too. Like I feel like I could like take an off in it. It's so it's like literally like everything I could ever imagine. I'm so grateful and so happy. And I got cute shoes on. Don't look at my toenails. I have to trim them again. <laughs> she makes amazing, like everything in here was like made by her. Paris Hilton wears Paris Yeah, Hilton. literally, that's okay, crazy, let's go. And she actually, I'll put it on the screen, she just posted on Instagram, like wearing a package that you just actually, got her. Actually, so. yeah, I'll show you. So there's Paris. 
Let's go. That's actually Let's so go. Cool. It's so sick with her her car. That's All amazing. Right. <laughs> All right. Prom is something so special in a young girl's life. And honestly, I am just so blessed that I got to be able to be asked to go to prom. And I think the way that I was asked to prom was the most, I think it was the most romantic, thought out, well-planned, well-rounded thing I've ever seen in my whole entire life. And I really won't let anyone tell me different. But the editor did say that I should look at other promposals to see, you know, what I got to compete with. And honestly, I think, you know, out of one of one of ten, I think mine was a ten. So honestly. Wait, wait, better than Cameron? I mean Cameron asked. Oh my god, yeah. Literally I just got wait no, he said not to say anything. No, I'm saying it. I, um, you're not saying it. I'm saying it. Hopefully I don't shed a tear. That would be kind of embarrassing. Literally, he, she, she just got off a bus and he was just like holding a sign. That probably took him like five minutes to make that sign. Already, already, that is so much better because you know how long one of those balloons takes to freaking blow up? Years, years, and he had to do five of those. <laughs> That's a lot. Look at everyone's watching them. <gasps> Yo, I think she says no to this kid actually. No, that has to be fake. I did ask think she says no to him. Oh, okay, there was one kid that did that and she said no to, like how heartbreaking. But Loki, like, is it that big of a deal? It's like, not, I'm not getting engaged or anything. Why does everyone have to watch? Literally everyone is watching in all of these. I would be embarrassed. Yeah, I pro now that I think about it, I'd probably be really embarrassed to all the girls I because I made it like a huge deal, like the whole school. That was stupid, sorry. That's cute, sorry. come on. Oh, we got rose petals up in this crib. Yeah, so. <laughs> so. No, no, I'm in Korean Panda too. Is she not reacting to it? Is she just like, is this normal? Like, yeah. she's just walking past yeah. it? I don't know. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's her reaction. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she probably knows what's happening, which is like normal. Oh, for sure. Oh, she's excited. Crush or whatever wasn't even filming. So that's cute. Okay, good. So this girl thought that he wasn't gonna ask her, and then she came Are home to this. Me? Oh, was it chalk? Uh, I'm not, that's how I asked the girl. I did that. That's what I did. Chalk on 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 the school track field. Oh, and she's oh, crushing it. Let's go. Cute. Yo, that was dope. That's cute. That's pretty cute. Wholesome. Like, let's go. Creative. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> and then what, she helps him off? <laughs> <laughs> so that's him that's asking? No, no, no. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Gavin Gillick, son of Sir Trevor Gillick, first of his name, destroyer of porcelain, tamer of the beast, Chewbacca, slayer of bucks, and stirs to all things that smell nice and clean. <laughs> the quarter of the give, Miss Giorgio Master Lasco, to the Royal Gallop, filled with fun fellowship and fellow acquaintances, on 6 May, what is your response, madam? Yes. <laughs> ah, wonderful. Gentlemen, boss. That's very cute. Thank you, sir. <laughs> That might be better than mine, but like really, really, like totally really, 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 really up. That's a really cute. Oh, I need a oh so good. He's scaring the whole school for real. Oh, a doctor! Huh? Yeah. Do you think the principals knew that this was happening? Or do you think they have to tell them? Oh my god, it's a little boy. Yo, that's so good. I was I was freshman in high school, so I was 15 years old. Jeez. And and um 
like I think like you're used to like cute 15 year olds. Piper, I was ugly as fuck. <laughs> like I was ugly. But like look at the post I put on Facebook first. I got a prom date. Yay! Hey guys. We said divorced prom. I wanted to be a YouTuber. Hey guys. And I am asking Lisa to force to prom. I'm doing it with Skittles because she loves Skittles. Look at that! I spelled wrong with Skittles. And I have to. And I'm gonna feel all of my guys. Tag her in it. You're gonna tag her in it. Damn, she is blowing up. You're gonna tag her in it? Hopefully she'll be Sheila. 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 It's me. Another girl. Fucking Sheila. Her house is over there, but. Let me listen. <laughs> Or else is over there. <laughs> like, like... Her house is over there, but <laughs> I think she picked up or something. Not she answered. Hey, what are you doing? I'm doing. What are you doing? It's so weird. Do I still sound the same? I feel like my voice is Yeah, no, you sound exactly, exactly the same. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can I like go around? You'll She's see. Her. This is it. This is it right here. Why so funny? I can't believe I found this. She running? Whoa! You're in my driveway. I am in your driveway. In my driveway. I am in your driveway. Normal people doing people things is crazy. And more. I'm gonna tag her. And the, then like she was yeah. just like, thanks. Well, I was probably <laughs> hoping one day that that would get like tons of views and Yay. I guess it is technically now. Now I think it's time to tell you guys the story on how I was asked to prom. So after watching all those prom proposals, you know, it really just like didn't actually like scare me in any way to me thinking that my prom proposal wasn't the best prom proposal, prom proposal ever. Because seriously, it was great. It was amazing. You know, he could have pulled up in a helicopter, on a giraffe, freaking in a train, in an old truck, or he could have freaking lined up the whole thing with Skittles, like Hunter, you know, like, he could have done that. But he just went out, he, he just like, he said, he said, that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm gonna do this. And like, you guys aren't even ready for it. Oh, you're ready for it? Okay. Well, basically, it was, an early morning and I woke up and I looked at my phone and I got a snapchat <laughs> I got a snapchat like a little paragraph of being like hey you can totally go to the prom with me you've never been to a prom before so if you want to experience it you can experience it and I said no and then he asked me again and I said no and then he asked me one more time or maybe I you know what, I'm gonna take you up on that offer, and I went, now I'm going to prom. So that's kind of the moral of the story. I'm actually low-key kind of sad. I didn't have such like a big prom proposal, but I didn't know that prom was multiple years in a row. So most schools, you can't go to prom unless you're a junior or senior. So your last two years of high school, you only get two proms. Ever. But like for you, probably, this is a huge deal, because like, it you is don't a huge go to deal public for me school, you've already graduated. Because I've never been to public school ever in my whole entire life. I never would ever expect myself to go to prom, and I never wanted to like, you know, miss this opportunity um, because, you know, I was letting my head get too involved and being like, oh, I'm going to be scared of all the people there and blah, 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 blah. But I should just like, you know, I'm only going to experience it once in my life, so I should just do it. You so should. I mean, for me, like, okay, I got four crumbs, which is so cool. Literally one of the coolest memories ever. Like, I still think about See, high school. See, but like, that is like scary for me because I'm not going to really know anyone there. If you guys want to go check out my Snapchat, I do a ton of stuff on there. I'm basically a Snapchatter now, so if you want to be a Snapchatter in the Snapchatter family, go add me on Snapchat Yo. because if you're not getting what you need, if you're, if you're not getting fulfilled with the content on here, you'll get fulfilled with the content on Snapchat. Yeah, and who knows, you could ask Piper to prom on Snapchat and she might say yes. Maybe. You never know, this is like a Taylor Swift decision. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, it is Piper's first prom. If anyone has any suggestions or anything, please put it down in the comments so she can maybe be a little prepared.
I, like I got fear going to the freaking grocery store. I'm like, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thank you so much.